North Carolina had the highest number of on the job deaths in a decade. More than a third of those deaths were attributed to COVID and now state civil rights groups are making a formal complaint to the federal government. WCNC Charlotte defender Savannah Levins has the details. These civil and workers rights groups say the State Department of Labor failed to protect employees by refusing to implement sweeping COVID safety rules. As COVID swept the U.S., essential workers had to continue on. Those working in factory settings raised early alarms, many telling us under the protection of anonymity that there were little to no protections in place to keep them safe. We didn't have enough material or masks and things like that to provide to us. I just really wanted to be known there. They got to get out of that plan. <laughs> the people got to get out of that plan. This kind of uh, processing facilities were going to be a ticking time bomb. At any moment, there was going to be an outbreak that was going to have serious repercussions. That was proven to be the case after numerous factory outbreaks surfaced. Over the summer, for example, Tyson Foods in Wilkesboro announced they had nearly 600 workers test positive. It puts them in, in a really difficult situation, making a choice between uh, taking a chance of getting COVID, perhaps even risking their lives and putting food on the table. Alana Dubester is executive director of Hispanic Liaison, one of many civil rights groups that petitioned the State Department of Labor back in October to implement COVID specific safety mandates like providing PPE, enforcing social distancing, installing barriers and stacking shifts to avoid crowding. And we joined this effort to pressure our Department of Labor to do something. But the department and then Commissioner Sherry Berry declined. She said she doesn't think the general duty clause gives the state agency any further responsibility here. Elizabeth Haddix is one of the attorneys for the group. Thousands of workers had filed complaints with the North Carolina Department of Labor about these COVID related issues in the workplace, literally begging the state to put these protections in, but they were offered no protections. Last month, the state DOL released their workplace fatality report, revealing 91 on the job deaths in 2020. That's two times higher than the past decade's annual average. 26 of those 91 deaths in 2020 were attributed to COVID. I would imagine that those numbers are low compared to reality. Now the civil and workers' rights groups have filed a formal complaint against the NCDOL with OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. We've asked the federal government to step in. You know, by the time this trickles down, does it feel too late? It's, it's never too late to do the right thing. We're hoping that um, the federal government will act quickly, and uh, we think they will. We reached out to the North Carolina Department of Labor for an interview. They declined, but said in a statement they cannot comment on pending litigation, but will, quote, continue working with employers and employees on best practices for reducing the risk of COVID-19 in the workplace. Reporting for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Savannah Levins. Back to you.